begin here with that robbery spree at bodegas across the city. One worker on the Upper East Side killed on the job, and tonight there is a manhunt for the suspect seen wearing this outfit, a white hazmat suit, and a mask. He is now linked to at least four robberies, and we're hearing from one bodega worker who came face to face with him and survived. CBS 2's Christina Fan live on the Upper East Side right now with more. Christina. Well, Maurice and Christine, that deli worker, says he feels incredibly lucky to be alive after hearing what happened at this location on the Upper East Side. Police say the 67-year-old victim did everything the shooter told him to do but was still shot in the head unprovoked. And officers say all the suspect made off with was a tray of lighters. A small collection of flowers and notes lay at the door of Dayona Deli, where a clerk, affectionately known as Michael, served coffee and laughs to customers for years. Three days after his murder, police returned to the scene with the gunman's photos and a plea for justice. We are all outraged by this act of violence. Each of us here grew up in this city. We know what the neighborhood bodega means. For some of us, it was like an extension of our living rooms. Police say the suspect, dressed head to toe in a white hazmat suit, entered the deli Friday night, robbing a customer, then hitting the 67 year old clerk with the butt of his gun. As far as why he shot this victim here, um, couldn't couldn't really tell you. It, it just appears maybe while he was pistol whipping the subject, the gun may have gone off. Detectives have tied the shooter to three other robberies in Brooklyn and the Bronx. Here he is on surveillance entering the super deli in Greenpoint March 1st. Nori Gashan was the clerk behind the counter. The thing that was running through my head at that time, I was just, okay, I give him the cash and I give him the cigarettes, what he wants. I was just hoping that I don't get shot afterward. Workers believe the reason for the brazenness. This is what we're talking about. This is what we don't want. Face masks and clothing that help conceal a suspect's identification. Fernando Mateo with the United Bodegas of America is pleading to deli workers to police their own stores by telling people to lower their masks. This is what we're going to put on our doors, letting people know. Take it off, and once we can identify who you are, Put it back on if you'd like. And Mateo is also calling on bodega workers to install buzzer systems that would allow them to control who enters the business. But not everybody agrees that is the right solution to this problem. We will have more reaction coming up at 6. For now, reporting live from the Upper East Side, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christina, thank you.